Good morning, Steve Martin with TransWest Truck Trailer RV, and welcome to our TransWest Facebook Live video this morning. Today, I'm going to be showcasing a 2020 Newmar Country Star. It might sound unfamiliar to you. It's a model 3717. The Country Star actually came out in 2020, and it replaced the, what was called the Ventana LE. So they they uh, they changed their names from Ventana LE to Ventana to a Country Star in Ventana to differentiate them a little bit, so you can kind of separate them. And they and they did some upgrades on it this year. And I want to kind of point some of that stuff out to you. So Cherish is with me today doing our video, and let's walk around and um, I'll show you some stuff. This is the new name, Country Star. In a line of a lot of countries and a lot of stars that Newmar's done over the years. I think this name, Country Star, they used years ago and they've just reintroduced it. Um, behind this molded fiberglass front end is an 8,000 watt Onan Cummins generator. So this has two air conditioners on it uh, and a residential refrigerator. You get plenty of power with that 8,000 watt uh, diesel generator to operate it. Come on around, LED lights, side cameras, rear cameras, and then we start, as I've talked about many times, uh, Newmar's, I don't know if they're patented or not, but they're 16 inch structural wall system. Uh, it's just the best in the industry, bar none. Flush slides, no overlapping, no wind noise, no water penetration, 22 and a half inch tires and wheels and then their masterpiece paint finish on this coach. Every diesel pusher that Newmar sells, actually every class A that Newmar sells, has the masterpiece full body paint finish. As you go up the line, they just get a little fancier, a little more coats of paint, a little more clear coat stuff, but no decals to peel or crack or, or um, get dull. Beautiful coach. Frameless windows, all insulated glass. It's got an awning for the slide, slide awnings on all this. This particular coach has four slides uh, and they have awning toppers on them. So as this slide comes out, an awning comes with it, keeps debris and pine cones and pine needles and silt and sleet and snow off of it for you. Here's your fuel filler. You got one on each side for an equalizer. And then, you know, the basic stuff, uh, all insulated doors, six batteries. They normally would have four, but there's two extra batteries because it has an extra converter for the residential refrigerator. LP tank, about a 30 gallon LP tank. Pass through storage. Uh, at this price point, they don't come standard with the slide trays, but you could add the slide trays to this unit. It makes it very convenient to get from either side. Same thing here. Pass through storage. And Jerry, if you notice that bag and that pole right there, but I'll show you that on the other side. It's actually a hammock. Furnace. I believe there's two furnaces on this unit. Two LP gas furnaces. This is your dump station, whole house water filtration system very well labeled, hot and cold running water. All your low point drains and everything are back here. Real easy to get to, real nice and clean. There's your DEF tank, diesel emission fluid. Started that in about, I can't remember what year, seven or eight years ago. Uh, that's what qualifies this coach for Colorado's emissions program they have. Here's your power cord, 50 amp power cord. It's all lit inside. Auto transfer switch with surge protection. It's all built in. Comes, comes available in the country store. More storage, lights, 120 volt connection. Here's your water heater, 10 gallon gas and electric water heater up here. About a 13 gallon quick recovery gas and electric LP water, uh, gas and electric L, uh, water 
heater. It's got a ladder that gets up on the top. Here's your engine bay back here. This is a side radiator model. So back here, you really can't see the engine. There'll be an access inside to get to the engine. But all your filler gauges, filters, uh, all of your tanks and everything can be filled from back here. The back radiator? This is a rear radiator. Yeah, they have side radiators and rear radiators. They both have electric fans, so they both draw air. 360 horse, XCR, Cummins, diesel, with an Allison six-speed transmission. Plenty of power on this 37-foot diesel pusher. Has a 10,000 pound tow capacity. Uh, she can tow about anything you want. Might be even a little more than that. Might be 12. But it's at least 10,000. 10,000 you can tow just about anything you want. This is your chassis disconnect right here. So I can turn the whole chassis off by turning this switch right here. And these are your chassis cranking batteries. There's two of them. So to totally you have eight batteries on this unit. You, can you see the motor? Can you change the spark plugs? Definitely not. Okay. I can try my hardest. Well, we'll do that for you here. Just more storage. All these storage bays have lights and carpet. This has a star foundation, so they've modified the chassis, this Freightliner chassis, and put some additional reinforcement in it, steel tubing. Uh, to help develop these storage bays and create a, an insulated storage bay, create a low center of gravity, and create a real quiet basement uh, with road noise and stuff like that so that that moves into the coach where you can ve very rarely hear the road noises and stuff because of how they do that insulated doors, insulated bottom, insulated floor, ceiling combination there. And we move around to this, okay? This is what that bar underneath, right here, that I showed you. And in that bag, there's a hammock. And this isn't just an ordinary hammock. I've installed them, put them on, used them. They're very sturdy. They're really wide. It's under your patio. And you can just kind of hang out here in your hammock, you know, while the wife's grilling. Or, or maybe it's opposite of that. But anyway, it's real, uh, real sturdy. It's kind of a neat option that Newmar does. More pass-through storage right here. Yeah, this is the star foundation I'm talking about here. This is all solid steel, and it creates the base, the, the uh, floor of the um, storage area. So it's got about an inch and a half foam insulation underneath. It's got about six inch insulation in the top up here, real low center of gravity, and it's just a great design. It's the first thing they do when they bring the chassis into the factory is they add this modification called the Star Foundation, and it just does a great job. Here's the back side of your skinny pass-through. Yeah, there's extra tile. They give you hoses and like for your uh, water spray hoses, they give you extra tile in case something were to happen. Uh, the floor tiling, they give you extra. So five years down the road, you don't have to go match that color or whatever. They give you extra ones just to keep. This is an area you can put a freezer on a slide tray if you'd like, just more storage. Yeah, our, our service department at, uh, across the street uh, sells the slides and the Dometic freezer. It's a freezer combo, refrigerator, just depending on what you turn the temperature to. You can either freeze meat uh, or you can uh, have your cold beverages out here, and they, we can install that for you. Here's your other furnace. Here's the other side where your filler is for your diesel fuel, so either side works. So I left these slides in so you can see this flush foundation. It's such a big deal. I talk about it all the time, but it really works. Uh, it was patented in the early 90s, I think 1991, 
and uh, very few, if any, maybe one other. Well, buses, all buses use a flush slide, but most all motorhome manufacturers use an overlapping slide, and they're just not as sturdy and durable as these flush slides, and quiet. You notice the big full awning with some umbrella fabric. It's all electric. Huh? Yeah, they all have a wind sensor on them. It's a motion detector. So if the fabric starts flapping, the um, awning will go in by itself. And up on the on the rollout here, it has LED lighting as well. It lights up the whole patio at night. It's a real nice uh, mellow light. It's kind of even cool out here right now. Let's go inside. Let me run these slides out. All multiplex lighting uh, switches. They're not just a regular toggle switch. They're all 12 volt, low voltage, electronic uh, light switches. Which is really nice. You can dim the lights. And Slides are out. Let's show them the dash here. Uh, this is a 2020 model, and Freightliner came out with their all of their uh, Numar diesels now have an electronic dash. It's not the manual or the uh, standard gauges anymore. It's all digital and electronic. As you can see when I turn the key on, they look like regular gauges, but they're all electronic. Yeah, of course, you have your display over here for your side cameras and rear cameras, and then a uh, HD stereo, Bluetooth, and everything. It's all Sony. It all matches all around the coach. It's, it's your control panel up here. Uh, you can you can do this has auto gen start so if the batteries get run down low if you're not in here or whatever the generator will start by itself your HVAC controls right there and uh, your uh, tank levels tells you where you are with your tanks I just turned the air conditioners off for us where'd it go oh, there it is there we go. If I turn the power off. All your other controls are up here. Water heater control for gas or electric. Uh, awning controls and all that. Okay, in the living room here, this particular floor plan has several different living room combinations. This has a fold and tumble sofa over here that makes a queen bed and the two recliners on this side that are really comfortable. And let's show them the televator here, Cherish. This is your TV. Televator switch up or down. And as she turns around here, you can see the TV coming up. It's 42 inch, um, uh, 42 inch LED TV. Bose sound bar. And as you'll notice, everything is the same. If it's Bose here, it's Bose in the back. If it's Bose here, it's Bose outside. Uh, all the TV brands are the same. They don't mix and match. These are all Samsung. Samsung outside, Samsung in the bedroom, Samsung in the living area. So the two recliners. And this has a, this is a little unusual for a diesel pusher. This has a booth, a uh, kind of a Euro booth that makes into a bed for kids and has really nice drawer storage underneath all the maple plywood that's about a one two three four about an eight ply maple plywood that's really good stuff for all you woodworkers you would know that solid surface countertop solid surface tabletop stainless steel undermount sinks pull out uh, sprayer on the faucet and then you'll notice all the cabinets 
are all maple inside. They are carpeted, so you're not making a lot of noise and stuff banging together going down the road. Convection microwave, Whirlpool. Brawl, bake, roast, microwave. And then a three burner gas, LP gas cooktop. So pretty much all the convenience of home right here. And these are pictures of the last trip we went on, San Francisco, some of the bridges that we took pictures of. We put them in here. But you can change those if you want. You can put pictures of me in there or uh, whatever you'd like, your pet or whatever. Residential refrigerator, Whirlpool. Everybody's heard of Whirlpool. Talk to, uh, talk to your local appliance repairman and ask him what he likes the best and he'll tell you Whirlpool every time. Got a big, big freezer in the bottom, flat freezer, ice maker. You can really store a lot. If you add this with an outdoor refrigerator freezer, outside you got a lot, a ton of room. Little half bath. I mean, excuse me, full bath. Electric flush porcelain toilet. It's very important, very sanitary, very easy to clean. And then in the back there, Cherish, is our egress door. We'll take a look at that. So we have room for all three of us here. There you go. Slide that slide over. Nope, on the bottom. There you go. Here. You want me to get over there? Yeah. She's having a hard time with the camera in one hand and the... There we go. So under this panel right here that's clipped on by magnets, there's a... There's a, there are a, it's a ladder that folds down, so if something happens, you need to get out quick. That's how you do it. It's got a deadbolt on it and then a door latch on it. Very nice, very secure. Easy way to get out. Pantries back here, Cherish. You might want to come back this way. Lots of pantry area. Once again, all maple finished insides, very clean, very easy to clean, won't stain. Then the master bedroom, show them the ceiling features. So you don't see the little plastic round RV air conditioner diffusers, your return air and your supply air diffusers are behind these panels and the, they, these will open up. There's hinges on them so you can clean the filters and stuff. King size bed in this model. Uh, lots of closet space, lots of drawers, another Samsung TV. The washer dryer combination. And then a big bypass door closet. for hanging stuff. It's a price point coach. This coach, I think the MSRP on this coach is, actually it's under $300,000. It's $295,000 MSRP for this coach. And I promise you, you go look at anybody else's, any other brand, this will be their mid-level their mid -level coach uh, and uh, very competitively priced built on the same line as all the new Mar diesel pushers do from their 295,000 to their one million dollar King Air uh, you guys come down and see us come down and take one for a drive this is the last 3717 we have we'll be getting some 21s in so we're making deals down here the RV business is good right now we would really enjoy you guys to come down you can reach me at Steve Martin 970-290-6120 or my email address is steve.martin at transwest.com. I'm at the Frederick location at Transwest Truck Trailer and RV. It was good talking to you folks today and be safe out there. Thank you.